Good evening, friends and family, followers and subscribers. This is Laura coming to you with another short video. And this video is going to be really short. I'm just going to get to the point. Um, if you missed video number one, I talked about um, what happens when you are plunged into dysfunction. And I talked about how that felt and, um, you know, gave some examples of being plunged into dysfunction. And then also I discussed for a brief moment, um, what does it mean to inherit dysfunction and what the meaning of dysfunction or dysfunctional is. And so on this video, I'm going to give you the 10 signs or 10 characteristics of a dysfunctional relationship. Um, number one, there's physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, or emotional abuse. Number two, there are denials, secrets, and lies and just remember this when you think about denials secrets and lies if you're in a dysfunctional relationship always remember this secrets keep us sick and that's a quote I don't know who it's by um, it's an anonymous person but just remember that secrets keep us sick okay so number t number three there are addictions. Number four, the people in the relationship, they don't talk, they don't trust, they don't feel. Number, number five, there are a lack of boundaries. Number six, there's poor communication. And the poor communication includes ridicule, criticism, um, conflict that's never resolved, Mixed messages and shame. The next one is there is a lack of love, compassion, and intimacy. The next one, it is a closed family system. It's very rigid. It means that um, outside, outsiders are kept out of the family business. What goes on inside the house must stay inside the house. You're taught to not trust anyone, um, just to keep everything inside. And so it's a very close family system where um, everyone knows what's going on, but no one doesn't address it. And if you should happen to address it, you'll find yourself as an outcast in the family. Um, there's rigid perfectionism, which means that perfectionism is, perfectionism is expected in everything that's done, you know, um, there are certain people that are expected to perform to the utmost, to be perfect. And then there are others in which their imperfections are glossed over or looked over. The next one, there is a denial of spiritual focus. A denial of spiritual focus, which means that a person is not allowed or ridicule for wanting to attend um, religious um, meetings uh, to pray or to meditate or to have time alone or to read, you know, um, you know, anything of books or, you know, to have in, to study about religion. You know, this is totally prohibited or, you know, you're shamed or made to feel guilty or ridicule for wanting to perform religious practices, regardless of what your religion is. And then the very last one, um, whenever there is a dysfunctional relationship, whether it's a family, a marriage, a uh, workplace, there are always four types of people that dwell within this dysfunction. There's the hero, which is the person that can do no wrong, always praised, always receiving the accolades. There's the scapegoat, which is the, ch the person that's always blamed for everything, the troublemaker, um, you know, this person, the fingers are always pointed at this person for doing all the bad stuff. Um, there's the lost child, which is the person that just kind of, you know, they're there, they go with the flow. They don't make any noise. They're pretty much ignored. Um, no one really acknowledges that they're there. Um, this person doesn't get into any trouble, doesn't really do anything good. 
they're just basically there. No acknowledgement, uh, no need for discipline or anything like that. They're just kind of there and forgotten about, pushed over in the corner. And they're just kind of there, you know. And then the very last one is the mascot. And the mascot is the person that tries to handle everything with humor. Everything is, you know, funny. If there's an argument, the mascot will try to insert a joke in order to kind of lighten the mood and to make things better. The mascot will also be known as the class clown or the funny person, the comedian of the group, the family, the marriage. Um, they just sort of, you know, they've learned how to make light of everything, to make a joke about everything. Everything is funny. You know, even when things are not funny, they will try to find a way to make it funny. And it's to ease their pain and also to ease the pain of the situation. So those are the 10 signs of a dysfunctional relationship, whether it's a marriage, a dysfunctional family, or a dysfunctional workplace. And so I hope you enjoyed the content of my YouTube channel. I hope that you found this informational and helpful. And if you enjoyed, please um, like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.